Ooh. Yeah, I think we can go down here. It's kind of there, so. So, um, Harry said that because the skate is called the FR Potier Street Skate, we should go and skate street on it. And it's, uh, sounds good, but it's New Year's Day. It's the morning time. <laughs> and I'm 39 years old. <laughs> But Harry's You're not, not here. 39. Yeah, I'm 39. Harry's not here, uh, but Hobby is, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a little go on some ledges and see how they skate. Look at the spot. Woo! Straight out of the box. Let's just try a Royale, see how that goes. On the straight one? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. One more. Felt good, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so I've caught up a few times on the way out. It's mainly me, of course, but a couple of other contributing things. Is when I'm leaning forward, to get around the curve, that wheel there is catching up on the ledge. So I'm gonna put on some frames with a wider H block on. But the other thing though is, if we're talking about the skates, I suppose because the sole kit's wider out, you can't get as far down, and then therefore, you can't get the wheel to come up as much. See what I mean? So if the sole plate was a bit slimmer, or if I'd worn it down more, then it could be good as well. Not the most aesthetically pleasing frame and skate combination, I have to say, but I'm sure they're gonna skate lovely. Let's just skate them and try not to look at them. The metal frames definitely feel much faster if you're in doubt about the effectiveness of riding on metal frames. The backslide test, as we always do. Try not to step on. Oh, it felt really nice because it's curved as well. Whew. Things that are straight are really hard to grab on backslides, aren't they? You can do it going down something, but it was really controlled straight out the box. I leaned right back on it and the support in my ankle felt really good to lean back off of it. Really smooth. Little test top side on the end. First go. Oy, oh my. It's speedy. The sole kit feels really fast. Let's try the higher ledge. Okay, yeah, felt really good. It's, um, you know, sometimes on some skates, top sides, or at least top soles feel like the weight is more on the toe. And some skates, the weight feels more on the heel. And these are definitely a toe style. Still the slide. It's exceptional. The soft plates are very, very fast. Top passes. Whoa, jeez. The ledge is one of those hexagonal ones. Um, yeah, so, but the sole is so wide, it's really wide, that, that made it really easy. I really stuck to that unexpectedly. Again, really fast. So I think, like, at least on the ledge, near side sole tricks feel like really, really great. Should we try a quick, quick line? So that was a good test to see what they skated like on ledges. Maybe we'll go and meet Harry, maybe Gaston, and skate them on a different terrain. It's Harry. I've got the skates on. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's very cold and uh, I'm going to try some tricks that Jake hasn't tried yet. So um, let's just start with Anugan. Should we just try one? Just yeah, go. So yeah, Nugans feel um, really good. It took me a while actually, it might just be because it's cold and early and my knees hurt, but it took me a while to find the position between 
the backside plate and the H block. But actually, once I kind of waxed the rail and was confident, as soon as you hit it, you just you just slide. So it's really easy, comfortable Nugent grind. What next? Let's do. I guess a misfit is close. So cool. I'll do. I'll try a misfit straight away. Yeah. It's Gaston and my dog Wilbur. Oh, hey Wilbur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Solid. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. The sole kit felt good. The sole kit felt quite far away from my foot. Can't feel the grind that much. Yeah, it's big, huh? It's a big sole kit. Um, really fast, and uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not worrying about locking on. The only thing I'm worrying about is the not boning that foot over. Could I do that. feel like I can feel the raised heel more than say a them skate or an M12. Um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You are like in a quite a good position for skating, but. For grinding it's a little further away than those other two so um no complaints though it's not a bad thing it's just different can you do a cross-legged trick <laughs> of some sort i'm just like can i do it on the little ledge is that cheating you can do that but um <laughs> maybe that's how we solve the savannah argument maybe we just call it a cross-legged trick cross-legged trick do you know what Any, i was anything. thinking about that so well, we don't need to start this argument again. I'll do a cross-legged trick <laughs> on the little ledge. <laughs> cross-legged tricks. <laughs> Actually much easier to get down. Um, and on, on a ledge like the one we used, actually a lot of the grind was happening on the, um, on the front part of the sole plate, on, on both bits. You could really lean forward, so as long as you're waxing. Yeah everything properly you don't necessarily need to rely on the H block so much. How are they feeling? The shell is quite wide. They feel um, much lighter than I expected. I don't know whether that's just the addition of the metal frame. Are metal frames, would you... Are they lighter? I are don't they know. lighter or heavier? I don't know. We kind of did this in the, um, the video about the Kaiser <laughs> sole frame. Yeah. We measured the difference and it was very minimal between plastic and... Oh yeah. Metal. I mean, absolutely no heel lift, which is interesting. I feel like I could easily <laughs> do some cool toe rolls and stuff in these. So I might actually keep the mid strap on, even though aesthetically I think it's better without it. Well, funnily enough, the first thing I did with these was I took the mid strap oh, off. Oh yeah, you did take it yeah, off. Yeah, and then when I looked at it, it wasn't. It, it didn't look as good as I thought it was going to look because of the open wide shell. Yeah, yeah. It made them look all long and boaty. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the mid yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Let me try that for you again. Woo! Yeah, like super responsive. You can tell it's. I've I've been to a skate park on an FR1 skate before, and I've enjoyed it. And having the addition of an aggressive frame and sole plate, it's like a win-win situation, really. Because it's a wreck skate on, on aggressive base. Yeah. <laughs> the sole plate is absolutely steaming. So, so fast. Yeah, I had the same thing. So, so fast and big, which gives me a good feeling about alley-oop tricks, which sometimes when you first get to a spot and you're like, ah, uh, I'm going to stick up on this, but let's give it a go. Why not? Alip so? Alip so. Yes. How'd it feel? Really rapid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If anything, it was too fast. <laughs> if anything, it was too fast. Suspiciously fast. <laughs> I think that should be the title of the YouTube video, <laughs> like a clickbait title. <laughs> Potier skates, too fast, too question mark. Too fast. Too fast? And it'll have like a thumbnail of you like sat on the floor, <laughs> <laughs> look with a sad face going, okay. <laughs> just so you click on it. Yeah, okay. Just, so just to clear up, they weren't too fast. No. They were really good. They were very, very good sole kits. 
um, which <laughs> seems to be the main takeaway from us skating them. But shall we have a closer look at the skate and um, just take them apart? I think people are really interested in how the base of the skate works as well, considering it's a converted freestyle skate. So uh, we've got a pair here that are taken apart as well. Maybe we talk about the liner first, because we skated them with the, actually had the intuition liners. These are actually the liners out of the Pat Ridder, them skates, but I think they're pretty much identical to the liners mm. that are going to come. Very it, similar. Yeah, in a potier version of this potier skate. So, so there's a few versions of this skate. There's the one with the thick original liner like this. There's one, and there's one with the intuition liner. And then there's like boot onlys, and there's ones that come with the potier frame on them. The original liner, this one, feels amazing. It's so thick. This is, I think, I know I didn't, I know we, none of us skated it in the video, but I think that's my favorite stock liner that comes on the skate. Kind of makes me wish that FR like made slippers or something because it's so luxurious and comfortable. Have you tried it yet? I've skated it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, it is like the stock liner that I would skate. Yeah. Like, you know, in, in the freestyle FR versions, that's, that is the, I would used to use the stock liner, yeah. Have yeah. you put that on lately? Not put it on for a while. You maybe. should put it on. Okay. No, crikey. Um, let us know what you think. But the reason that we skated the Intuitions, there was just something a little bit extra about the way it's thinner. And I think I just felt like I had more like freedom. If I was going to think about doing a grind trick or something, I felt a bit more free and maneuverable maybe somehow in the Intuition liner, um, even though it was less like thick and luxurious. But as far as stock liners go, that's that's a really I can't talk that line up enough. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it's fine. You're a thin liner guy. I'm a thin liner guy. Yeah, I don't. Um, my initial impression isn't. Um, I'm not as juiced on it as as you both, but it's good. It's not bad. Okay, well you can buy the intuition version. Oh, well, yeah. What about the price on that intuition version? Pretty good. <laughs> pretty, pretty good. What's the price? Two hundred pounds for a boot only. With an intuition liner. With an intuition liner. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Um, presumably, so do you remember we saw this skate? It was almost exactly two years ago. February 2020, we saw the skate. And it's only just, I mean, it hasn't come out yet. By the way, uh, if you're watching this video, we still haven't received a UK shipment of this skate. So apologies if you're waiting for your pre orders, but they're arriving soon. Um, the skate we're skating on is just like a, a prototype that they kindly sent us. Uh, yeah, but two years since, since the, there was images of this skate. And I reckon that they set a price two years ago, before pandemic, before all the stuff in the world happened. And they somehow like just stuck to it because the price is ridiculous. Yes, extremely good value for money for what you get out of it. So yeah, make your choice, but either way, you're going to get a good, good liner, wh whichever one you choose. It's up to you if you like a fat liner or a thin liner. Um, do you want to look at, look at the... Uh, so I mean, it's, it's worth mentioning that if you go for the intuition lining version in your shoe size, the actual plastic shell is probably going to be smaller Oh yeah. Then if you went with the standard FR liner. That's right. So yeah, it runs on the same sizing as the FR1 Deluxe Skate. Yeah. We, we've got the 41 size FR plastic shell and it came with the 41 size stock liner. Stock liner. If you got the 41 size Intuition version, it would come in the 40 shell. And it's labeled oh. 40.5 to 41.5. Yeah. Oh, I didn't, that's interesting. So, and that's the size we would have taken. Yeah. So we were, sa we were all skating a, a, a one size too big than what we would have actually skated. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Had we bought, got, managed to get hold of our correct size. I think the people that watch these videos, uh, most people watch these videos are kind of into it enough to like figure out the complexities yeah. of that. Um, if, you, if you're more of a beginner skater and you watch it, then just hit the rewind button a few times and see if you can figure out what we're talking about. Uh, or give us a call. 
give us a call. We'll give us a call yeah, at the shop. Exactly. Just contact us and we'll explain it. Yeah. Call us. Still a raised hill, essentially, but there's an adapter plate on the front. Well, no, they put the adapter plate on the back. One of the two. One yeah. of the two. So they've just made it flat, basically, on the bottom. Yeah. But didn't we have we had one lying about? Didn't we? we had another yeah. um, uh, in this FR lying about. Oh, well, that's the FR1, isn't it? Uh, well, yeah, but same. you can kind of yeah. compare, right? So, so the front's the same, back's got a... The back's got the adapter to make it flat. Yeah. So we have another option for a raised hill aggressive skate now on the market. It's like very welcome addition to the aggressive market. By the way, we've, we've, I think we've been like, we've tried to be as objective as possible when like talking about these skates. We might have, I hope it didn't come across as though we were being overly like pernickety about stuff. I think my overall view of this skate is that it was really, really good. I really like it. Raised heel, like lightweight. I don't love the look, but like sometimes I was, because it looks like a, obviously it looks like a recreational skate that's been converted. You can kind of see that. It's got that kind of shiny material on the shell and stuff, but then that's totally down to the individual. Like why? That's just my view on it. Mm. And actually sometimes I was catching a glimpse of it and I quite, I found myself quite liking the aesthetic. Yeah. The, like the, the silhouette of it, the shape, the shape of the skate. How is the complete model only 26995? With the flat frame and like a flat setup of AP wheels, which are really good wheels. It doesn't have the intuition liner in the complete though, does it? It's just that's, still. That's, that, is, that is a super decent price. Okay, here we go. Prices on these. So we've got the intuition boot only, which is 19995 British pounds. We've got the version which that's insane. We've got the version with the stock liner, boot only, 150 quid. And then we've got the version with the, the Anthony Potier frames on and wheels and everything, and that's £270. Pounds. So in a, in a world where we're paying a lot more for skates these days, FR have kind yeah, of, yeah. they're the antidote to that. Complete 26995. That's correct, yeah? That's correct, yeah. It's like, it does, I just was like, yeah, right, it does seem a bit mad, but... And the, oh yeah, the Potier frames, which we didn't test in this review because we just, we didn't have a complete skate. Yeah. I we suppose could, we could have we, just we taken some out of stock, actually. couldn't we? Yeah, I didn't think mm. to do that. Um, but we did skate them with the... You did the closest. The, the Kaiser Element frames, yeah. which are a metal frame as well. So I think you got to, and also the Kaiser Element frames have got quite a low H block. Um, so in terms of the way the groove and the royale position felt, I reckon it was a pretty good representation mm. of what it will feel like in the final Probably product. quite similar. Maybe they're shorter than the flat frames. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I, I preferred to skate with the element frames on than the, the Vem frames we started out with. Um, I don't think Potier gets enough credit for in, just in blading in general. He's really, really good. And I'm glad to see him getting a, a pro skate and getting the recognition he deserves. He, he was always in, um, oh, can I say this? He, is this fair to say that CJ maybe, like he was in CJ's shadow mm. a bit when he was at Seba because CJ had the pro skates and Potier didn't. So really it's cool now, FR and Seba, uh, um, Seba. FR and Seba have now split as a brand. Won't get into that, but they're two different brands now. So Potier is riding for FR, CJ is riding for, riding for Seba. And yeah, Potier has won two Winter Clashes and he's come second twice at Winter Clash as well. Mm. I did my research. Nice. <laughs> uh, which is, I think he's had the best Winter Clash results of anyone ever. Really? Yeah, which is, because I remember, do you remember Potier at Winter Clash just absolutely yeah. killing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously like multiple other sections and big wheel sections as well, like really yeah. diverse skating, really incredible, fast, gnarly skating. I'm really happy that he's, he's got some recognition. Definitely, yeah. Do you want to pull a line out and mention that little soft bit on the bottom of the boot? This is what inspired the, the muzzle collaboration with Solar for the shock so, sheet. Yeah, it oh, has okay. a kind of shock sheet just glued into the bottom, uh, which feels really dense, but you can feel it. It's definitely going to help, you know, some shock absorption. And then it's got some uh, padding over the 
cuff bolt receivers. So yeah, that's really cool actually. Yeah, why wouldn't you cover your um, the bolt heads inside mm. a skate that's supposed to be comfortable? Yeah. Uh, I mean, to save cost, presumably. But FR managed to do it and sell the skates really cheap. Okay, so to summarize, amazing thick liner or, or premium intuition liner, shock absorbing bit on the bottom, really good quality like covers of the bolts inside. You've got those um, Seba laces, which people like aftermarket as well, because they really grip, they're quite wide and they're like grippy laces. So they're mm. like a good alternative to wax laces. They really work well. Uh, super wide and super fast sole kit. And then the option for a complete skate with like a really sick, like premium high-end Anthony Potier frame on it, but you don't have to get that version. I mean, um, for all for like a really amazing price. Oh yeah, and the sole kit, if you've got the sole kit there, just show the camera the, the underside of the sole kit where like the wheel wells are. So it's got like a, it's got two wheel wells in the end and then like the middle bit has got like an extra bit cut out as well. So for like flat frames that are uh, really close to the boot there that you get an, a, mm. a little extra couple of millim millimeters of room for the middle wheels too, which is a really cool feature. Mm. That's the uh, Potier skate coming up. Uh, we're going to take those Mesmer skates apart as well. That's just coming up in the next video. And uh, yeah, I hope you, hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope we answered some questions. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> Out for now. Bye, everyone.